Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. It's good to have you with us for this week's Explore Tulsa. Trish, this week I was looking around Video Revolution for a big screen option to watch Explore Tulsa on. Yeah, Ian, what did you come up with? Well, I found 90 inch screens, also 4K projectors that could go up to 120 inches, but I, I still wanted something bigger. Typical guy. Well, did you think to look at One Oak Field and check out their video board? I like the way you think, Trish. I like the way you think. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to One Oak Field, home of your Tulsa Drillers. Special thanks goes out to McElroy Manufacturing and all our other partners for helping us host tonight's Make a Difference Monday. Essentially, we're trying to tell the story of the game when we're switching on the station behind me, switching through the game. You're telling the story because we're always streaming to the fans online and to the Conqueror's television, so we're put showing the game, but also at the same time we want to have fan shots where the fans can see themselves on the video board and have a great time and want to come back. So it's kind of ba a balancing act between telling the story of the actual baseball game and getting fans at the ballpark on the board. See anything from headshots, player stats, to game shows, uh, s sponsorship content. Uh, fan shots is a big one during the game. People. Everyone loves seeing themselves out on the video board. and It is about 20 foot tall by uh, about 50 foot wide. To make that happen, we have me, my two assistants that are here full time, and then we have our PA guy, music, one video board operator for the main video board, we have for the ribbon, ad panels, and fascia boards, we have an operator on there who also captures highlights during the game. And then we have our uh, technical director who switches through cameras and send, produces the show for the stream and the concourse televisions. And then our replay guys, so that would be uh, everyone up here and then we have, depending on the night, four or five camera people on hand. Thanks Billy, we are down here on the third base side tonight. I got boys versus girls. On the boys team, I got Jackson and Mason. And on the girls team, I got Dominique and Katie. Are you guys ready? Behind me, you see the switcher station where we switch through cameras and send it to the live stream, concourse televisions, and out to the video board out there. And um, pretty much this is the brains of the operation, or at least that's what we try to tell everybody. At the beginning of the day, our uh, game entertainment manager and I get together and we script things out and we'll have a script uh, for the game and then I'll be sitting here in the middle of that, kind of everybody telling everybody what's coming next and everybody knows but when you're in the middle of the game it's a good thing to make sure your camera's in the right spot and make sure we're not going to miss a sponsorship element and not. I'm kind of overseeing during the game and making sure everything runs smooth. You have about seven seconds to go back to generics. Oh, you can go live if you got anything. Don't tempt you. Things can get uh, pretty pretty stressful up here at times when uh, we're in the middle of the game, putting on a show for not only our fans in the ballpark, our fans in the suite, our fans on the stream, everything. If uh, one, one thing goes wrong, it, we just gotta, everything, everybody works hard to get that fixed and uh, typically nobody notices and that's uh, our goal. My assistant started in January. It all starts then, we start building the sponsorship content depending on who sponsors which elements. We uh, start from there and start building the show and every day we get in about in between 8.30 and 10 depending on the day and the how many games we're into a homestand and uh, work throughout the day, have put groups into the machines, put birthdays, special announcements, first pitches. That takes probably two to three hours every day and then we're always looking forward to the next game so once we get that stuff for that day done we're working on the next day. It, it feels great everyone's just uh, it's like at the end of a baseball game we're all excited if like when you win you shake everybody's hand and great show let's do it again tomorrow.